Okay, the last one to try for now. I mean, from the list that I actually picked up because the rest is just not interested. I mean, for me, maybe for the other, but uh, you know, there there is an apparent uh, kind of. You can really tell which games are worth to try and which are not because uh, you know there are some really low end uh, games uh, that went as a port to the quest, uh, but I'm kind of like picked up by uh, intuitive my uh, uh, I guess most that I was most interested in, and I wanted to try. The others were just not enough for me. I mean, they didn't sell enough for me to try it out. Even though some, some were like, you know, for free and stuff like that. Like, I mean, I think even half were for free. But it was just, I guess, not worth my time, I guess. It's not, it's not like my time is really worth it. Uh, like, you know, worth however the amount is. Uh, but, uh, especially now, because uh, I need to, you know, hurry up and get another job. Um, I value now my time kind of higher than before. But for now. Who cares? <laughs> so last game, let's go with Taktara. The rest, uh, this is the comic reading. I'll see if it, you know, I'll see outside of recording, outside of YouTube if it's fine. Innocent for it will play in some time. I'm not sure, I think it's uh, worse than Tokyo Chronos, but we have time for that. And just, I just installed because I, I just did it, <laughs> because it was for free. But an actual last game for now will be Taktera. Uh, strategy RT game, uh, apparently you will have like a visu like virtual board that you will place buildings or something. It's like the battlefield will be on a virtual board in front of your something startling. I don't know. Let's just see. <sighs> Virtual tabletop real time strategy. Okay. I guess it, it seems fine. A. E, McNeil. <laughs> At least now it seems click the test, but to begin. In the previous one I had to like guess. So, how does it work? The forces are shown in blue. On the left, your goal is to defeat the enemy. Show okay music. It's not uh, shown in orange on the right. In between are neutral bases shown in white. Okay. Bases will automatically produce new units when a base is ready to deploy new units. It will be highlighted with a white column light like that. Deploy your units by selecting the highlighted base, then select the destination. Okay, so it's not like automatically it deploys, so you need to like pick where you want them to. Ah, because it's. Oh, it's kind of. Ah, because it's a real time strategy. There is a. I guess you would call like. You know, in like the games like Final Fantasy or like, I don't know, just JRPGs you have. I guess like a preparation bar, an attack bar, attack bar gouge, and uh, it's kind of like you wait for the action to like if it fills to full, it's your turn to do the action. So it seems like it will be the case here too. Okay, so let's go for this. Yeah, I'm right here. So it will be just like okay. This have been to play attack their target, but you can always choose to give them new orders. Try using new orders now. Target the ground and hold down the touchpad to select all units in an area. Once you've selected your fighters, click on the to give the new orders. Like that? Ah, okay. But no. Here. Some bases can attack the enemy directly instead of producing unit. To fire your artillery, select your highlighted artillery base and select a target. 
your own units. Okay, there's no friendly fire. Great, so it's kind of like pretty cool thing. And I need replace to destroy and capture it. This will let you produce more units. It's usually best to capture the because Yeah. a base you can choose what you want it to produce for the rest of the battle. In this battle your army includes artillery, tanks and fighters. Select one of these types to start building. Okay, uh, let's just go for this base for now. I think I will do... I think I actually do artillery. Yeah. Bam! Shorten production bonus, but then start production entirely. I believe we can break fast production, but then turn it doubles the speed of production afterwards. I mean, I don't really look forward to that. Okay. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Christ, yeah, yeah. It's like destroying everything, the artillery. Christ, okay. It's like I had what? Five artilleries? Okay, so it works like that. Uh, what do we have? Options? Oh, there's multiplayer even. Credit for set campaign restart tutorial. Yeah, the other games. Um, camera controls. I think we're fine though. No, we're fine. So there's campaign, there's multiplayer and skirmish. Is it crossplay? Let's see. I don't know. <laughs> it would be pretty. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I have the idea what are these units. <laughs> Crossplay. I think it's the same story like in Battle of Kings, so whatever. Oh, 
I can skirmish while I wait for the enemies. Interesting. No, okay. Let's go with campaign whatever. Let's just Let's see a few missions or something. Click the deploy button to play a new army. To move an army, select it, then select a destination. Most armies can move once, but one army in each room is frozen. What? Satellite? <laughs> I like, I really like artillery, so we'll save that. Missile. Now let's do. I guess tanks, I know. And this one's bomber. Yeah, sure, I know. <laughs> Uh, what's happening? It's so many things at once. This kind of okay. Just wait. Pause. So basically, what happened is that we have like a strategy board to move our units, like in the tiles in a I don't know, style of monopoly, monopoly or something. Like not monopoly. What the fuck am I talking about? Like. Reserve tiles and like occupy them to win the overall overall war, I guess. So it's, it's like we have skirmishes, but we have bigger thing like a, a conflict, I guess, that we need to overtake. I guess you know that, right? I don't know, like Christ. Okay, so wait. So this is units. What's that? Oh, that's bombers. Okay, and that's artillery. What the hell? Okay. It's pretty good. Ah. Oh. Wait. We can't damage the... Jesus. Great. I want a bombers. Wow, it, I, it just stops. 
them, okay? It just stops like all together, like permanently. Jesus. Ah, so it's kind of okay, like that. Wait, uh, so I would upgrade everything, right? Oh, like that. Wow. Okay. Bye bye. I'm kind of handicapped here. My outpost. This fucking place. Ten. Targets in range. We have so many tanks here. We're engaging. Firing launch. Come on. I think I need to like change the strategy because nothing's working here. Like Jesus.
Not there. Ah, Jesus. That doesn't work either, so so. Jesus Christ. So hard. Or am I just stupid? Ugh. I need to start doing like some heavy artillery on the base or something. Here. Let's just start doing that. Christ. We're gonna fire. Regenerating. Okay, maybe I'll I'll do it. But uh, I need bombers now. Close, close, close. I think in the next bomber I will do it. I need to constantly bomb it. Enemy contact. Finally something. Jesus Christ. Try to go to the other base still. This one, let's upgrade that. We can finally do something here. This fucking base. Mm, let's go here. It's just fastly destroyed. Ok, 
Okay, um, I want a bombers. Come on. Let's do a split attack. It seems like it, Jesus. I mean, I just fucked up with this building that I boosted it, but then it doesn't work for the whole game, so it's just like upgrading everything is the way to go, but not boosting. <laughs> Makes no sense boosting, kinda. At least it seems like it, maybe in multiplayer or something. I mean, this is the thing with the strategy games you develop a strategy and it works or it doesn't. <laughs> But a perfect analogy, right? But yeah. Um, I feel like Darknet was more fun, I, th I think. It's like, Tactera it seems like really time consuming, Jesus. I felt like I was like in just one match forever. <laughs> but at the same time, I know I, it's, it's my fault because I fucked up this one base. So I think it was just my fault altogether. Um, but overall, I mean, it's it's time consuming, that's for sure. It is a, a cool RTS because, you know, I personally am a really big fan of, like, you know, JR RPGs, JR RPGs, it's called like that. And uh, turn based, uh, you know, like combat. Like, you know, you wait for your turn, but like you see the uh, attack bar or like the progression bar or something. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of like my kind of thing, uh, it's, it seems interesting to implement that in a RTS uh, style, but I will, it's like not like the most uh, interactive game, you know, if, if we have a split thing as Terraria has this, you know, real-time strategy, and then we have like, you know, Toy Clash, Sky War, and stuff like that, it seems like more dynamic and you um, rely on your reflexes kinda to deploy fastly the units. Uh, here it's just like you rely purely on uh, a strategy. It's not really a battle, it's more, uh, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's more about strategy, it's, not, uh, um, uh, it's less about actual, uh, an actual battle on a battlefield. Does that make sense? Obviously it doesn't. <laughs> I just say things that are coming to my head. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it seems, I mean, it's just specific, uh, uh, you know, specific game for a specific players, you know. People who enjoy strategies that are more uh, an actual strategies <laughs> will enjoy it more rather than like Toy Clash on Skyward and stuff like that that are more about uh, reaction times and just like deploying units and like, you know, just fast paced combat. Here is just like, you know, more slow, uh, it just, it has its own pace and you need to um, rely on that. And also there's so many units, like uh, I just picked up some just random fucking things, like, but there are some, a lot of units, I think it was like 20 or even more. And uh, so, for sure, the strategy got, comes also to that, to just like uh, implement that in the in your gameplay, and then you have multiplayer, which is pretty cool. I don't think it's cross-play, so that's a thing. 
It's just that, you know, with this kind of games, especially I think on the Oculus Go and Gear VR, I don't think you expect a lot of people to play them, right? I don't think, I mean, you know, the, the, these games probably were released like, you know, one year ago or like two years ago, like back in the day. So for sure there were people that were actively playing them. Uh, but like nowadays it's kind of like shifted and like the headset, uh, the, this library kind of like died down. Uh, and currently the Rift and Quest, especially Quest, is more popular in terms of like multiplayer stuff. So it's kind of like sad to see that um, there are some games that are just like left alone and just like that, just like, uh, just considering multiplayer, right? Single player is still fine, you just play your, by yourself and live your own life. But like uh, if we're talking about multiplayer, I I think it's kind of like a dead, dead, uh, um, that function at this point and I, I just like I'm not really sure if it's a cross player or not if it's uh, that we're just playing with uh, players we we would wish we should just play with the uh, players uh, that emulate on quest the go gear VR games as is it just that we are actually playing as a go gear VR like you know headset through emulation and we have a multiplayer access to multiplayer from the an actual uh, Go Gear VR players, if you know what I mean. So it, you know, I think it's still fresh, kind of fresh, fresh uh, feature. So maybe some people will play that in multiplayer. I think it's safe to say that it's better to play right now. I guess single player and just like way to develop. Um, I guess communities around games but at the same time it's just that there are so many games that we have now and uh, that it's not like they are better it's just that there are more approachable games uh, to play nowadays so i i wouldn't say and maybe it would be like one or two max games that people will pick up again to play from this library as an active like multiplayer games but it's just like we have quest games still and quest games will just live their own better lives with much bigger uh, communities you know so you know i think it's just the best to i mean if we're talking about an overall um experience from the um, go give your games because we kind of finished everything that I was interested in, kind of. Uh, it's more about uh, picking up the titles that we have not yet to uh, have yet to play, uh, that were not ported over to the quest library actually, not through emulation. Uh, and it would be like some single player um, games, not really like, you know, a multiplayer heavily focused uh, games. I think that that's kind of like that would be. Uh, I'm just rambling at this point, but yeah, it it's the end for the uh, for. I guess the new titles uh, for now, at least for now. <laughs> I'll probably get back and play a few. Uh, either it's on the on my channel or like privately. Uh, it's just that I need to focus on other things right now, so um, I'm just like, you know, I just had my first impressions and, and just went with that. Uh, I've done with that and maybe, and then I will get back to it in my own time. But uh, right now I just wanted to put it out, uh, like, you know, record everything and just like put it out as, as fast as I could possibly do. Um, because I have uh, just... So I, I mean, yeah, I have more important things to do. It's, it's just life, you know. That's just life and you have to need, uh, have to know your own priorities, yeah, you know. Games will wait, but you need to take care of yourself and your life firstly. That's a little bit memo. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see what's up will, will be. I think I have the content for the next one or two weeks so for sure there will be some new releases and i for sure 
think that um, the la last labyrinth will be releasing after that for sure i think it's uh, due on october something i think october 10th maybe so it's like maybe even tomorrow i'm not even sure what's the date today so yeah uh but it would be like that and you know in the future we'll have uh, other games maybe even some more ports from the go gear vr but for now it's the end of the new uh, stuff that we got at least for me on my channel uh, so yeah, we'll see what's next, and I will see what's, what will happen next. It's just that we need to go with time and <laughs> react to that. Uh, yeah, see you. <laughs>